I don't care what the blogger man said when the blogger man said it's raining. M50 won't be straining. M50 always shines. Yui. In the beginning, there was the M line. Okay, it might not have been the exact beginning, but in the beginning for mirrorless in Canon, there was the M line. And then there was the M1 and the M2 and the M3, M4. Sound like motorways. And then there was the M50. And the M50 had the flip screen, the flip out screen, the total flip out screen. Yeah. The M50 could shoot 4K. The M50 had the eyepiece, the EVF. The M50 uh, took EF lenses via the adapter. The M50 was the perfect all rounder. Or was it? Six months after having this, after buying this baby, and I'm just loving it. So last week we looked at the photography aspects of rolling with the M50 for six months. This week, it's the video aspects of it. Um, I went out, I was invited out. Elsie Kwanzaa came round my house and said, let's go down to the flower market over in East London. And you know, I like my flowers. I like my plants and stuff. I have a nice garden, which I usually do vegetables and stuff in, in the summer. Not really into flowers, but I do like being around that. So yes, we went off to the Columbia Road Flower Market over in East London. And if you don't know about that market, check it out. It is a serious place for all your plants. So anyway, we was out there. Of course, I had my trusty M50 in my side bag because it that's where it lives, in my side bag, and it travels with me wherever I go. And I decided to take some pictures, because that's what I do, take pictures. So I'm there in Columbia Street, it was completely packed, completely jammed, I'm taking pictures, taking pictures, getting some good shots, getting some nice shots. It was kind of, um, sun was out, there was, it was kind of a blue sky, but the sun was out, but because of the way the road is, we was getting deep shade on one side of the road, and complete brilliant sun on the others, which is a nightmare to actually film in because, you know, it, the comparison between dark and light and you have to decide which one you're going to expose for. So it had a quite tough time filming impromptu style with my M50. But having said that, I think it done quite a great job. I'm going to show you some of the footage so that you can decide for yourself. Bear in mind, this was impromptu. We had an M50. There was no top mic. We had no, you know, gimbals or anything like that, no drones. It was just an M50. I decided to bring it, take some pictures. Then I decided to do some filming, make a little story out of this trip to Columbia Street Market. So anyway, I'll let you be the judge. It's a bit shaky, but you know, it's real. Um, what can I say? It was jam, it was real, it looks real. I kind of like the shaky, so long as it's not too shaky. I kind of, it kind of works, I think with this um, particular um, bit of filming because it was so jamming, there were so many people there. But anyway, if you look today through the, through the, through the square window, we have some footage of us at Columbia Street Market. So you be the judge. And after this, we'll give our view and our thoughts on how the M50 has done for the last six months. So through the square window, Cheesy wipe coming up. What is it that you're actually after? Absolutely. Try and get a maple shrub. A maple shrub. Mm. What's a maple shrub? When it's at home. It's like a tulip tree. Yeah, that's all. Cool. You want a tree for your garden? But it's, it only grows small. It's like a small chili tree. It's really pretty. Have you seen anything like that? Not yet. Come here. Okay. Columbia Road Flower Market because I've just got my garden done and I have a choice. I can go buy stuff from the catalogue or I could come and see what they had and I prefer to actually take as many options as I have and coming down here at least I can see what I can do in terms of my garden. They had some fern trees which I really like. They are 30 pounds a foot. 
that one I saw for 45 and these little ones here are about 20-25. Okay, thank you. We're about to do they grow in any soil? Yeah, they do. Even impossible soil? Well, they might be a good one for impossible soil, I don't know how that's because you actually feed them water from the top. Um, they're quite reasonable because I've looked about at garden centres and the prices here are quite reasonable. Huh? They also have some small shrubs, but not the one that I was looking at. So that forces me to actually have to go back to the catalogue, but at least I'm satisfied that I came and I saw. But I know that if I wanted any house plants, this would be the place to come. Yeah, I might take you, I just want to find mine. I didn't see anything like that, and I'd like, I'd like a window like that one, so I'll order it on the catalogue. Yeah, it's very crowded, but I've been here before, so you didn't put me off. I know that I'll come back again because there's stuff that I could buy, particularly if I'm looking for large house plants and that I was looking at, looked at a couple today. The crowds don't put me off because I expect it. I didn't expect to come here and not find any crowds. That's what this place is renowned for as well, the crowded Sunday markets. I've got good priced cut flowers, so if you were actually um, having a memorial service or a wedding service, this would be a good place to come and get your supply of flowers. It's almost impossible to buy anything down here then, basically, that's what you're saying? No, but if I, if I saw what I wanted, I would buy it. Yeah, but how are you going to see it in this crowd? So I know that if I saw something and I wanted to stop and look, I would stop and look. It's up to you to have the correct mindset when you come down here. If you think you're coming here for a relaxed time and you can just study along, you're going to be very disappointed. It's not like that. You have to make that space. You have to make that time. I saw eucalyptus plant, which I was tempted to buy, but I remember what happened last time. What happened last time? The plant was small, and it was small for years. And all of a sudden it started to grow. And when I say the plant grew, I swear it used to grow at least in the night, like it tried to take over my garden. I can see that lots of people have walked from distances and going along with their plant, so it's only to be expected. This is a part of East London that's been gentrified, I wouldn't expect anything else. This is Columbia Street Market, East London. I don't even know the postcode. I looked it up on Google and then I've got the sat nav to bring me here. Okay. It's, well, I know it's near, it's near Hackney. It is in Hackney actually. Yeah. I'm so special, I'm so special. But every time I close my eyes, I see the devil. Every bloody feet I'm on, they say it's levels. Would you recommend it? Yes, I would. If you think if you've got a house and you need house plants, I think it's a really brilliant place to come. Um, and if you need cut plants, yeah, it's a brilliant place to come because the plant can't. I've bought them from here before and they last a good long time. Yeah. Soundtrack to my life is like BBC's first shift. Images like BBC's the worst shit. I would down the whole Pino Beats, but I'd see Bacon Street without the Pino Beats, and it hurts my soul. Cause I'm a warrior, so do the answers against the nigga dirt going choke. Some people confide in the person that they sleep with. I've learned there's no such thing as a secret. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, I was trying to freestyle for a second, but it didn't work in it, so I had to. <laughs> You know what, this M50, I believe after six months, because this is part two of my six, six months review, I believe, I reckon this is the ultimate, the ultimate multiple media management tool. After six months, that's my conclusion. It has its faults. It's not perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect camera. Um, when, when I'm shooting, I find myself chasing the light, chasing the exposure on this little dial here. Um, I suppose I could put an ND filter on the front. I'd have to try it with that, but then that means I'd have to walk with an ND filter. And I don't 
generally do that. I just have it in my bag with no mic on or no, you know, no extra accessories. And um, pull it out when I go to take some pictures or decide to do an impromptu bit of filming. And it, it does a really great job. So I can't really complain. It is, it's been fantastic for the six months that I've had it in photography and in video. And there is no, it isn't better at photography than it is at video and it isn't better at video than it is at photography. I think it's the, probably the ultimate multiple media tool coming in at, at a great price point, less than a thousand pounds. I got this for like 550 quid. It's perfect, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I was thinking if Canon made a, a EOS R style M50, just a little bit bigger, um, one that didn't take RF lenses, <laughs> so you could just put the normal EFs on it like this with the same M, M mount, I think that might sell. That might really take off. Um, it'd take a lot to knock this off its perch for me though, because the size is just really great. But if they did do that, because I heard rumors and I'm not really a follower of rumors, but I did hear rumors that they're gonna bring out a cut down or they might bring out a cut down version of the EOS R. Might be interesting, might be interesting. Might give my little EOS M a run for, for its money. But yeah, I'm happy with it. Great little camera, great little tool does what it says on the tin. Well, it doesn't actually say on the tin, but it does the job. So let's keep doing our multiple media thing with our multiple media tool right here, the Canon M50, you know, and it's thumbs up. Jeepers, creepers, where you get those peepers? M50 sneakers, it's full of style. 